Hey everybody, my name is Trevor, and today I've got a quick video for you, probably the shortest one I've ever made. I'm gonna show you how uh, you can configure Avi Network's load balancer in a one arm configuration. Let's get started. So before I show you the configuration in Avi, I just wanna make it really clear what I'm gonna show you, okay? So uh, oftentimes when you configure a load balancer in Avi, um, it, unless you make a change to the cloud connector that you configure, which I'm going to show you, particularly on like a, a vCenter cloud in Avi, this would be the case. Avi by default will deploy the load balancer in line. Okay. It does this because Avi is smart enough to know, you know, that maybe for example, your VIP network uh, is in a different subnet than your pool network. And so what it will do is pretty cool. It's just going to like automatically plumb the network interface cards necessary into both of those networks. And the traffic flow will go, you know, from your client to your VIP. So it's going to hit one of the service engines. And then the service engine in this inline mode is kind of going to act as a router. And it's going to route that packets then going to route through the service engine down to your, your server, right? It's going to be load balanced across those. Um, however, uh, you know, while you know this it works, you know sometimes a design where you would like to leverage one arm load balancing is better, and it's really simple to make Avi uh, work into this configuration. So, in order to configure one arm load, ba load balancer, uh, there's a couple things you need to do in Avi. But the way the packet flow works in one arm is like this: instead of going in line, um, you're going to hit your VIP network, and then you'll hit one of the service engines the VIP is hosted on. And then instead of routing through the service engine to a backend network, what's actually going to happen is that the service engine will just route that traffic right back out to, you know, some router out on the network. And then that router will then be responsible for getting that packet to the backend server. And this is a common design. In fact, I would say this is probably the most common design I see. It's the design I recommend because it's simple. You don't lose any features. Uh, for this design and uh, it allows you to design your VIP networks maybe differently than you might design your pool networks, which, which can be a good thing because you want VIP networks to be high performance, um, secure, all that good stuff. All right. So now let me take you over to my lab and show you exactly how somebody would configure this. Okay. So let's say that you've got an Avi controller, you're deploying VIPs and the VIPs just keep deploying in inline mode and you really want to force those VIPs to be one arm. Well, to do that is very simple. Uh, in order to force uh, VIPs to go into a one-arm configuration, there's two easy steps. The first step is you'll need to add a static route, okay? Um, so I'm just going to, in my environment, create a very simple static route. What the static route does is basically tell your VIP network to just, you know, forward all the traffic out. And it doesn't have to be an all zeros default route like this. That's just how I have it configured. You could narrow this down to specific subnets if you wanted. The important thing here is though that this route encompasses the IP space for the back end pool that you uh, need to send the traffic to in this one arm load balancer config. Okay. So this is just the default gateway for my VIP network. That's why I've specified that IP, but this would be unique to you. And click save. So that's step one. I've added the, the route. The only other step is I actually need to go into my cloud connector. So I have a vCenter cloud connector in my environment. So all I got to do is pop into the cloud connector, go over to the data center tab. And in the data center tab, all I need to do is make sure that Avi knows I would like it to prefer static routes over directly connected networks. Remember, the default behavior is if not Avi knows about the pool network, it's going to add a NIC to the service engine to route that network. But by clicking this prefer static routes button and adding the static route, instead what Avi is going to do is prefer to be um, one armed as long as it has a route to the uh, back end pool members that the, the VIP is going to forward traffic to. Like I said, short and sweet. That's all I got for you. This is a question that I've heard come up a couple times. So I figured I'd make a quick video for it in case people are out there Googling it and can't find the answer. Hopefully this gave you the answer that you needed if you're watching it. And if it didn't, uh, you know the deal. You can contact me directly, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you have as I have time. All right, everybody. Happy load balancing. Happy one-arm load balancing. Happy 
4th of July. And keep it, keep it American, I guess. Bye.